Hello and uh, good evening. Welcome back to my Let's Play Minecraft series, episode 2. Now then, we're going to start off in the world exactly as it was. I haven't touched it. I decided I'd come straight back right here and, well, do a little digging. And as we can see, it's still night outside, um, as it's exactly the same way I left it. Um, and I thought I'd widen out this hole a bit. Hope no creatures come up to the door. Doesn't look like any have spawned in the area. Anyway, we'll leave that to another point in time. I'm sure you'll be seeing them plenty of times. Okay, I want to grab some more coal here. I mean, you can never have enough coal. Um, it can also be used for burning stuff, but, well, burning, uh, smelting, um, or whatever you do in a furnace. Um, I'll sh be showing that off, of course, in due time. Uh, right, um... Okay. There, doesn't that look a bit better? Um... Oh, this isn't quite equal, is it? I like my symmetry. Um, okay, let's, uh, I don't know how it looks. Let's make uh, one set of sticks, and what I'm going to be making here is a stone axe. Um, stone axes are useful for cutting down wood, um, as I'm sure uh, you'll be able to guess. And in this case, uh, that's number eight, no, seven. Um, I'm going to be using it to bring down this workbench just a little quicker. Um, right, so, go back to here. Is that... Yeah, that's symmetrical. Okay, so if we just... Cut this down. Ah. That's nice. Um... Right now... In case of enemies coming, which they don't seem to be spawning for some reason, normally I thought this might be a good place to actually see a lot. Hmm. Anyway. Um, I'm going to dig, dig a hole in the ground a bit and uh, make a, a safer room from the outside down there. As, uh, well, any long-range uh, type of weapons, creatures, will be able to shoot through those doors, so we can't be having that. Of course, this is all up to uh, what you want if you uh, end up playing Minecraft. Alright, um, let's go down... One more level. Um, uh, um. There we go. And we'll cover room out here. All right then. Well, what you can see here, this is gravel. Now gravel is kind of useless, not completely useless. Um, if you, uh, well, you have to use a shovel, or I believe the technique I'm about to show you, um, and you want, uh, and for instance you want to get uh, flint. Now, flint comes from gravel, although not every uh, block you destroy. Um, and one I mean, you can, can just dig at them, but uh, gravity takes a hold of them, and they'll fall straight down. Um, which in this case is not too bad, but in, if you're digging down below, there could be a, a large amount above you, and you really don't want to spend the time doing it. So, you can create a hole underneath here. You can do it quickly by destroying this tile, um, and, well, place a torch here. You can destroy this block here, 
um, and quickly place a torch. But um, if we if we take out this block to show, as they fall down, they land on the torch, but because they can't actually survive on that square because there's a torch there, they get destroyed. Um, let's... There we go. Um, anyway, for the time being, let's... I want to seal this off for the time being, so... Uh, oops. Okay. How's it look outside? Oh, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but uh, I definitely can see. Um, the distance right where I'm pointing um, is a creeper. Now, that's going to be really annoying, especially if you've seen me right now. Mm, no, I don't think so. Um, creepers, well, I'm sure you'll see plenty of times, but they like to run up to you and explode, and they like to hide behind all kinds of crevices and whatnot. Part of the reason why I chose to have such a flat rock. Oh, look at that. The moon's going down, and we can see a zombie jumping up and down here as well. And light is returning to the world. And another, another creeper in the background. And another. Eek. That's not going to be fun. Um. Right, well, certain zombies... Um, well, okay, certain creatures die in di direct sunlight, which uh, hopefully we'll get to see. Come on, son. Don't make me go out there and do all your work for you. Well, creepers don't get destroyed in direct sunlight, um, the big green things that you can most definitely see. Ah, and there we go, the zombie is set alight. Uh, there are two types of creatures which don't get destroyed overground uh, in direct sunlight. One's the creeper, which is the most annoying, the other is the spiders. It sounds like there's a skeleton nearby. Probably too late for me to see. Ah, there's his remains, I believe. Anyway, I'm going to uh, finish up inside for a bit, for a moment. Um, let's place down and let's. Oops, wrong crafting table. Now, what I'm going to be creating here is a furnace. And with the furnace, I can first place it down and we can cook stuff with it for instance this uh, uh they're calling it a pork chop in this island the raw pork chop um you can use wood to burn uh, to burn although it's not the most efficient um right what i'm going to do now i'm going to drop one piece of coal in there and i shall cook all my raw pork chops I shall see you back afterwards. Okay, that didn't take too long here. Um, the cooked pork chops restore a lot larger amount of health, but as you can see, the coal has lasted and there's still half of the coal to go. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything else to burn, so I shall leave it at that for now. And due to YouTube's time limit still in effect on my account, I shall be cutting off this episode here. Hope you enjoyed yourselves and have a good evening. Tune in next time for some gathering and technically the end of this episode. Goodbye.